Low-code software is quickly becoming the new ERP, or digital enterprise system. With its ability to streamline and automate business processes, low-code platforms offer an easy drag-and-drop user interface that allows businesses of any size to quickly build custom applications without having to invest in expensive development teams. In this video, I'm going to unpack this evolution and provide some guidance on how low-code software is the future for digital enterprise strategies. I'm Kyler Cheatham with Third Stage Consulting Group. We are a global technology advisory firm that is completely independent and technology agnostic. Our job is helping our clients achieve their business goals and ensure that they're reaching that third stage of digital transformation. In prep for this video, I highly recommend that you scan the QR code below here to download our newly released 2023 digital transformation report. This playbook is packed full of proven methodologies and successful strategies for your digital transformation or enterprise technology project. So let's get into it. Low-code software is quickly taking over many of the traditional ERP roles, providing businesses with the ability to rapidly deploy cloud-based applications at a much lower cost than custom development. Low-code platforms allow these organizations to leverage their existing data infrastructure and create newer applications that are easier and faster to develop. This is especially helpful for organizations that need to quickly deploy new applications or processes or respond to a rapidly changing business environment. Low-code software also has the advantage of being able to scale easily across your organization depending on growth. With its ability to integrate seamlessly into existing systems, low-code applications can be quickly modified and updated as needed without having to go through a long and costly development process. So let's talk about some benefits of low-code platforms. They offer businesses the ability to quickly build custom applications, again, like we talked about, without having to invest in those expensive development teams. They are also much easier to deploy, maintain, and update than traditional ERP system that are built on those very complex traditional programming languages such as Java. Low-code platforms also allow businesses to move away from traditional development cycles and take advantage of a rapid design development cycle that is much more shorter in time frame. This makes it easier to quickly respond to those changing market conditions or needs of the organization internally and externally. These systems also offer businesses the ability to reduce their total cost of ownership. By leveraging low-code platforms, businesses can reduce this cost by eliminating the need for expensive licenses and costly upgrades to keep the system up to date. So let's get into really those efficiencies and ways to automate that low-code software offers, which we haven't seen before. This has the power to automate many of those manual tasks. We see this a lot in kind of that front-end customer service and historically manual areas of the business, such as accounts payable. With low-code software, you can quickly build those custom applications or functionalities to automate these processes and ensure that the customer service and internal operations are seamless and efficient. These systems are often modularly based and can really offer custom applications that feature the business's unique requirements. This means that the business can respond quickly to things like customer needs, changing regulations, and other market conditions without having to go through actually customization or development of new technology. One of the biggest changes in leveraging low-code or no-code systems is the user experience and the non-technical assets 
being able to quickly take control of their own application and processes. Low-code software is designed with a drag-and-drop user interface that allows non-technical users to quickly build custom applications with minimal training or support. It also completely revolutionized their ability and relationship with data throughout the business. We see things like real-time dashboards or the ability to customize reports to make better business decisions in areas of the organization that haven't been able to have that visibility with traditional ERP systems. This means that leadership or managers can empower their staff to quickly design, deploy, and maintain these new applications without having to rely on that expensive development and really empower them to get to know the business better to be more productive and make better decisions. These systems have a very intuitive and clean user interface, making them empowering to employees that may not be totally comfortable with enterprise technologies traditionally. Like any new technology or software system, low-code software has its drawbacks and considerations that are really important to be aware of. Because these platforms are designed to enable that rapid deployment and development, they can be less secure than traditional ERP systems. Additionally, businesses should make sure that the low-code platform they choose offers the flexibility and integration that their business needs, as well as robust security features. Something else to note is because low-code software is designed to enable that rapid development, there can be a lack of oversight over applications or new functionalities being built or used. This means that businesses, specifically leadership, should make sure that they have processes in place to ensure that their applications and platforms are being built in line with best practices, industry standards, and integrity. Now, most importantly, low-code systems can drastically change the overall organizational culture and in some cases, completely eliminate some jobs. Now, we at Third Stage always recommend allocating this talent somewhere else within the business and managing that transition with a lot of empathy, but this needs to be a huge consideration when looking at if low code is right for you. Don't be fooled by case studies that you see in the media that showcase low code solutions in large global organizations and feature of successful digital transformation. These implementations took years of planning and full mapping of how roles and responsibilities will transition when integrating and implementing a new low-code system. The number one reason we see enterprise technology projects fail is because the project executive or leadership did not effectively consider change management and overall communication planning of this change. Assuming that the organization will be nothing but excited for new intuitive technology is dangerous. Make sure you have a fully baked plan to manage this transition, especially in moving from a core ERP solution to a low-code environment. In conclusion, low-code software offers businesses a powerful way to quickly build custom applications and automate those manual, inefficient processes. This technology has the potential to drastically reduce development times while drive down total cost of ownership and also empower those non-technical users to take control of their overall processes and make better decisions within their role. It can also just be incredibly fun to use. However, it's always important to consider those potential drawbacks of low-code software and ensure that the solution you choose is secure flexible, and integrates with your existing system. Finally, and most importantly, ensure that you have a well-strategized change management plan in place to help the transition of your business from the existing solution to a new low-code environment. I'm Kyler Cheatham from Third Stage Consulting Group, and I really hope this video helped you better understand if low-code or no-code software is right for your business environment. If you do have any questions on digital transformation or software selection, you can feel free to reach out to me directly at kyler.cheatham at thirdstage-consulting.com. Also be sure to check out our software selection guide within our digital transformation report that is linked below. And also you can click on the QR code at the bottom of this video to be able to access it for free.
Thanks so much for stopping by today and I'll see you next time. We are a global, independent, and technology agnostic consulting services. Services. We got some services going. There you go. <laughs>